What's up, people? It's time to react to Season 7, Episode 18, Daring Done. So, this looks like it's going to be a Daring Do episode. Um, So, probably going to be some Rainbow Dash in it. It's usually, the Daring Do episodes are like Rainbow Dash, Daring Do, and then one other person. Like some sort of trio, some random combination. So, I don't know who the third person would be in this scenario. could literally be anyone. But, yeah, that's, that's my guess. There's going to be a third person. It's going to be a little trio adventure. We're going to have fun. Like we always do. <laughs> so yeah, let's go. Three, two, one, play. Morning, Pinkie Pie. Get your Ponyville Chronicle right here. You look like an old man who is also a baby and sounds like a adult. <laughs> I just love to read about happy happenings, and it's always good to be a pony in the nose, you know? <laughs> yeah. And there's so much to know. Seems like a bunch of boring hooey to me. Is Pinky gonna be the third one? New shrubbery in Castle Garden sound like boring hooey to you? Yeah, Snooze. Rainbow. News. What about <laughs> Paris Bright Infestation in Philadelphia eradicated? Oh, oh, shoot. That's great news. Yeah. Eh, another day, another Paris Bright hype story. <laughs> Doodles named <laughs> Screw the media. Author AK Yearling announces retirement. Twelve still election. What? She's retiring? What? Let me see that. <laughs> I never knew you were so into politics, Rainbow. <laughs> oh, this it can't be true. Well, I'd have never picked noodles as the official food of Winneapolis either, but here we are. No, <laughs> Pinky, I can't believe that the greatest author and secret pony adventurer of all time, A.K. Yearling, is retiring. Go talk to her about it. Don't die. <laughs> I used to wonder what friendship could be. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. I need to shave. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete to have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? It's a yearly just. She's okay. Okay. Hey, I'm not just trying to make sure she writes more daring do books. Or That's exactly what she's doing. Of course not. Well, but that wouldn't hurt either. Yeah. Now, come on. <laughs> well, she she uh, had to make the decision, home. right? Maybe she, she should be all right. Chief of the Ponyville Chronicle to correct the misprint they've made. Nope, she's home. How do you know? Because she's right there. Alone. That newspaper in your hair is I adorable. Something is wrong. Okay. Now she's fine with the weight of the world. <laughs> now she's hanging her head in utter despair. But oh now no. She's shaking her hoof and cursing the heavens like nothing could ever possibly be the same again. Why, Jesus. Oh, why did this happen to her? What? <laughs> Whoop, never mind. That time she was just stretching. <laughs> okay, it's us. Damn it, Pinkie. Dad and Pinkie Pie. Your friends. Oh no! Did somebody ransack your cottage again and steal some ancient mysterious relic that's the key to saving all of Equestria? Ooh, Sparky! <laughs> that's yeah. Put that down before you destroy the world. Nothing's been stolen. Then is some pony blackmailing you and forcing you to retire? Cause if they are, no. Ace Attorney. <laughs> like that. Phoenix Wright. So you're just quitting and moving away? Why would you? <laughs> Rainbow, I let go. explained everything to the Ponyville Chronicle. No, really. Did you read the article? Author A.K. Yearling announced yesterday that the next adventure novel in her popular series, Daring Do and the Curse of the Pharaoh's Tomb, will be her last. Yearling looks forward to her retirement. That doesn't explain anything. Yeah. It just says you're giving up writing stories. But most What's the reason? Don't know that you actually are Daring Do. And that the yeah. stories are real. So what you're really saying is that you're giving up being daring do, but you're not saying why. Of course, if you don't feel like talking about it, that's a okay. <laughs> As your friend, we completely understand. Right? Get your hoof off of Rainbow's tits. Oh, oh, sorry, they're there. not there. We just came to make sure you're all right. That's really why we 
wanted to find out what's going on. If you really want to know, my last quest took me to a village in southern Equestria, where I started seeing these. Wake of destruction, colon. Daring to ruins entire village marketplace. Dare what? or scare? Local rogue Daring Do involved in frightful fiasco. Daring Do leads Bull into China Shop during high speed chase. That's enough. <sighs> Every pony I tried to help is mad at me. That's not true. So it's the collateral <laughs> damage from your adventure? You're mad at Daring Do. They don't sell my books in Southern Equestria. The ponies there don't know who AK Yearling is. They only know Daring Do. And apparently she <laughs> does more harm than good. And I guess it's a good thing you look so different as AK Yearling. <laughs> so all we have to do is go down there and explain to these ponies that none of this stuff is true. They're probably not going to listen to you. <laughs> but that's just the thing. It is true. I love Pinky's what? little sayings. I guess I've always been so focused on saving priceless relics and stopping the bad guys that I never really thought about the mess I leave behind. Well, it's for a better you cause. Are in a tricky pickle. But why is all this happening You can now? deal with a little bit of destruction to save the world. I guess ponies are finally fed up. Either way, I'm done with adventures. Having or writing. Come on! For every one pony who's upset, there must be at least a hundred that know you're a hero! Yeah! I don't think so, Dash. Well, why don't we go visit this village? Yeah, let's go. Nambula, and see for <laughs> ourselves! Those articles seem to make it pretty clear how the villagers feel. But if we, we can change that there, feeling. the ponies can tell you in person just how much they appreciate you. And what a heap of rotten apple cores these articles <laughs> And what a load of bullshit these articles really are. really think so? I know so. Yeah. Let's go. We can't have Indiana Jones quitting. Who's going to protect the world? Oh. Get another one of these. Is Pinky drawing the line with paint again? This is really far south. This is so cool. Just like that village in her life. Just like life. ancient Daring Egypt. Recovers the doomed diadem from the wild bunch gang who chase after her through the desert. It should. I base that entire chapter on my experiences here in Somnambula. What happens? No way. Don't tell me. You can change my mind. Tell me. Daring do force out. Pinky's very touchy in that area. Separate the sister crown relics. And if it wasn't for her, the region would be cursed with eternal might, and the entire town of Somnambula would have sunk into the ground. <laughs> There's no chance that these ponies don't think you're a hero. <laughs> Watch this. Oh no, what are you doing? Hiya there, mister. I was hoping you could tell me about a pony named Daring Do. I hear she's an awesome adventure pony hero. Daring Do? Oh, she's awesome, all right. Oh. Awesome at destroying ponies' apple carts. Yeah, I knew he was going to do something like that. And priceless sacred statues. Indeed, Daring Do is a menace who destroys everything she touches. Hello, Caballeron. <laughs> what? No! Daring Do is the exact opposite of a menace! Uh, I tried to tell you. Coming back here was a mistake. Come on, AK. So we picked a bad example. That was just one. We're gonna. Can you not tell that it was Cavalero? It doesn't matter. I never should have come with you. You two should just go home. Come on, we gotta follow her. I don't know. It really seemed like she doesn't want us cramping her saddle. <laughs> we have to convince her that ponies do appreciate her. As yeah. Her friend, I have to make sure she believes that. Cavalero's up to something. He's probably skewing it's their it's the get -on view of her. These are all the time in her adventures. Ooh. Which means there must be ponies here who love Daring Do. Maybe they can help. Or me. hate her. Mm -hmm. My nose is telling me to help myself. <laughs> Come on. Ooh. Ooh. She's yep. Fancy. I got this. A good evening to you, madame. <laughs> we have a weary <laughs> What are you doing? Taking residence here? What in Southern Equestria <laughs> are you on about? Is it true that Daring Do stays here? Huh. Not anymore, she doesn't. Why not? 
The last time I rented that rascal a room, she was in such a rush to hightail it out of here, she didn't even pay her bill. But after that, a band of ruffians showed up and destroyed half the rooms looking for her. Guess she made them even more mad than she made me. No, 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 you got it all wrong. Huh, <laughs> how do you figure? Daring Do was trying to save every pony from the curse of the doomed diadem of Zilati. And she was the only what? in a rush because she had to get the crown back to the tiara of Teotlale before the curse took effect. <laughs> Chapter 17. Sounds like a tall tale to me. And a hard one to believe now that I know Daring Do is a scoundrel and a thief. Wow. Every year, ponies come to offer precious glow pads to the Somnambula statue in the village in hopes for a good future. Why, that poor fella had his glow pads necklace stolen by Daring Do no, just he didn't. yesterday. He said he did, hmm. but he didn't. He's spreading dissent <gasps> over her name. <laughs> Ruined our town and stole our precious glow pads. Surely you can we tell. Need to make sure that if she turns up again, there will be consequences. Every pony who's with me meet at the statue tomorrow. So yeah, he's just spreading. He's the now person I'm who's blame for things I didn't even do. Why would I steal from them? Yeah, he's the person who's ruining your name. Fuck, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I'm loving Pinky this episode. After a good night's sleep, we're gonna fix all of this. I promise. I shouldn't be here, Rainbow Dash. This is never gonna work. Of course it will. What else are you gonna do? All I have to do is go up there and explain to every pony how wrong they all are. Sure, it's gonna work. And then I'll be like, what she said. <laughs> easy peasy cheesy. Cheesy. Exactly. <laughs> Of your, I mean, our Somnambula statue. Now that Dairy Do has destroyed it, tell me, where will we hang our glow pads? We don't even have any glow pads because they were stolen by Daring Do. Yeah. Yeah. Any proof? Daring Do would never steal anything. And okay, she destroyed your statue, but it was because she was trying to save you all from Aoi Zoto. Yeah. <laughs> He's about gay big, long neck, itty bitty face, weird claw thingy on his tail. Oh, oh, I know him! Yeah, <laughs> baddie! Oh, oh, a baddie. Oh. Trust me, if Aoi Zodal had gotten away with the doom diadem, your entire village would have been swallowed up. And that's a lot worse than losing some crummy old statue. Oh. <laughs> This was not some crummy old statue. It was the namesake of our town. If you want to understand us, you must first understand her. Who? Sonambula. Long ago, this village fell prey to an evil sphinx who demanded most of their crops. Ooh. Like her fellow villagers. That sphinx kind of sex. <laughs> didn't have much. But she used what she had to keep Somnambula kind of sex. I'm, I'm sorry. The son of the pharaoh, Prince Hizan, was so moved by her compassion that he decreed no pony would go hungry again. Never decree that. <laughs> but when Hizan stood up to the Sphinx, the beast captured him, telling the pharaoh the <clears throat> only way to get Hizan back was to solve her riddle. No pony would volunteer to save the prince. No pony except Sonambula. Ooh. The Sphinx gave her the riddle. I shine brightest in the dark. <laughs> I am there but cannot be seen. To have me costs you nothing. To be without me costs you everything. As Sonambula thought of the hardship she and her fellow villagers Strength? experienced, she instantly knew the answer. Hope, she oh, shouted. Hope. The Sphinx was so enraged, it seemed she might still refuse to release the Brits. So, Sonambula asked her for one more challenge. But if she accomplished it, the Sphinx would leave from the kingdom forever. The Sphinx quickly agreed, asking only that Sonambula walk to the Prince across a deep chasm. 
Who lied? What's at the bottom of that? Oh Further, shit, blind. The Sphinx had cast a powerful spell that prevented Sonambula from flying. Yeah, I was about to say. <clears throat> but Sonambula never lost hope. She knew she'd need to make a leap of faith to save the prince. Did you have to jump? <laughs> Guided by the sound of the prince's voice, she easily made it across. That's right, bitch. Leave. The pharaoh asked how Sonambula prevailed, and she explained that she had always hoped she could make things better for her people, and that hope had carried her through. The prince replaced the pearl Sonambula gave up with a string of glopez, and around her neck they glowed bright enough to light the entire kingdom. Forever after, glopez became our symbol of hope. Okay. Wow. I had no idea how special the statue was to you. Somnambula sounds like a pretty cool pony. But I bet if she were here, she'd tell you how cool yeah. Daring Do is, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Because they both fought to protect this town. <laughs> if Sonambula were here today, Shut up. she would condemn Daring Do for destroying you, our symbol of hope. <laughs> They're booing Cavalaron, right? Not Daring Do. Dude, how do you not know that that's him? Please. <laughs> hey, buddy! What did Daring Do ever do to you to deserve all this? Only everything! Dr. Cavalaron? Wait, what? Yes. <laughs> Rainbow Dash! <laughs> when I saw you, her closest friend, I knew that Daring Do would not be far behind. I really do owe you for leaving. This cutie mark is pretty damn cool. But I, I didn't mean to. Thank you for helping me break their into spirit by destroying her reputation. But I can't have you running off and telling her my plan. Look at the fucking hench ponies again. You'd think they can learn to beat them. <laughs> Cavaleron? No! He's got Rainbow Dash! Come Go on. stop him! Damn, Pinky. I'm coming! Rainbow! <laughs> Dash! Oh, I knew you'd come! You did? I sure didn't. What if I cause more trouble? You won't! How do you know? Because you're daring to. You wouldn't let anything happen to Rainbow Dash. Mm -hmm. You care too much. Mm. Right. <laughs> Which way did they go? To the pyramid! You have to walk the bridge, but there isn't one. Oh shit! Why can't they just throw her in? Why do they have to make some elaborate? <laughs> if my previous plan didn't cause you to give up, Daring Do, and the shame of losing your dear friend Rainbow Dash to this slime will. Oh, and that ancient magic from the legend is real. There'll be no flying in the pyramid. Good luck. Do. <laughs> well, shit. Pinkie Pie can just teleport over there. It's fine. He's right. We'll never get to her in time. If this really is like Sonambula's story, then we just have to have hope that we can. I think we need more than hope, Pinkie. There was a bridge in the story, and there's no bridge here. What are we going to do? I don't know. Hmm. Rainbow Dash is our friend. Just like Sonambula. We need to make a leap of faith and hope that we can save her. What? Uh. Uh, -huh. <laughs> really? <laughs> Thanks for reminding me to never give up hope, Pinky. And I'm kind of hoping you ponies will untie me before we all take a bath in bubbly green slime. We're on. What's in the bag? Not so fast, Cavaleron. 
Glopaz. You stole our Glopaz! Yeah. I should have known you were just trying to sully my name so that you'd yeah. be free to steal whatever you wanted. Of course that was the plan, Daring Do. At first, I just wanted nope, just to tell the plan to everyone. But then <coughs> I saw an opportunity to write you out of the story for good. <laughs> <gasps> and with the destruction you leave in your wake, it didn't take too much to convince ponies you were a villain. You're wrong, Caballero. Yeah. And I won't let you break my spirit again. Because I'm never gonna give up hope that I can protect <laughs> ponies and ancient treasures That's from right. miscreants like you. You miscreant. <laughs> Remember, she ruins your statue. You're fools to believe in her. You're safe by the Not gonna throw him in prison or anything. Okay, okay, He's just gonna come back. Enough. Thanks for helping me come to my senses. You two are true friends. Are you a true, kidding? true friend. It was awesome. We're just glad you're back to your old self again. Yeah. Now come out of retirement. <laughs> me too. But I'm glad I realized that even if you're fighting for something good, you're still responsible for your actions. And if something bad happens that you didn't intend, you shouldn't give up hope or lose faith in yourself. Yeah. yeah. All you gotta do is make it right. Feel free to use that in your next book. You know, <laughs> I think I will. <laughs> yeah, now Pinkie Pie gets a cover. Get some cover art. Ooh. That's a cool statue. <sighs> well... <clears throat> A pretty good episode. Gotta see some more Darren Do, some more Rainbow Dash and Pinky. Really cool. But as I was reacting in the last like minute or two, I just got a ton of notifications that my videos are being blocked as I speak. I love you, YouTube. I love you. So I have to deal with that shit. <clears throat> but yeah, as for this episode, uh, yeah. I, I enjoyed it. Got that Somnambula. It's a pretty cool uh, little story. Another video got blocked thanks to a notification. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, that's really all I have. I'm going to go deal with these blockages. Uh, <laughs> be right back.